everyone. Welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Today is Sunday, guys, and it's 3.50 in the afternoon. Getting a late start today. Just not feeling it today. Just being 100% honest. My motivation level is very low. I felt better yesterday. Had a great day and great evening yesterday. We had a fun time. It was really nice. But it was also a struggle to get out. So I don't know why. These last three or four days I'm struggling. But pushing myself to the limit that I have to, that I'm, that I'm, that I can and, and, and doing the things that I need to get done. So I decided to make, I was going to make, um, today's Italian Sunday fun day, Sunday, and I'm making an Italian, uh, meal. So I'm making, um, stuffed shells and I'm just going to make a quick, um, um, sausage marinara instead of putting ground beef in it and like making a chopped meat marinara i'm gonna make a sausage marinara because i have sausage in here that i need to use up so i'm gonna put that in the sauce so um i'm not making a big huge pot i'm making um probably three cans and yes yeah, so that so that's what i'm doing so i want to get started because it's four o'clock and this will take like a good hour to cook so we'll eat by six probably um all right so i'm just gonna i already cut up some garlic i'm gonna just cut it up a little bit more I didn't put my apron on yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> had a very fun night last night. That, that Sorry about that video last night. I realized that after I put it together that it was kind of mis miscombobulated. I had put a couple of clips before the other one was supposed to go for, you know, first. But there you go, guys. It was 11 o'clock at night, 11.30, 12 o'clock at night. And I was like, you know what? It is what it is. It's not a big deal. You you guys are smart. I have very smart smart subscribers. You'll figure it out that that the, the one that was before should have been after that other one, but you know what I mean. So I figured it would be fine. So yeah, but I wanted to put that up, you know, and post something last night and everything. And um, but yeah, we had a, we had a really really good time. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So I was happy about that. Um, yeah. So then you know slept till about ten o'clock today got up and just watched some crying shows and made myself a little sausage and um, sausage, a little mushroom um, egg, egg and cheese omelet. Oh, it was so good, guys. It was so good. I was going to show it to you guys. I actually was going to go get the camera and, and show you guys how I made it and stuff. But again, I was like, ugh, I just don't feel like getting the camera. Like, no motivation. <laughs> so sorry about that. But it was really, really good. Um, yeah, so let's cut the onions up. I'm gonna cut these, this one onion up. Yeah, I, I just, I don't wanna make an enormous amount and have an enormous amount of sauce. You know, I wanna have enough for this meal and maybe, you know, another meal or leftovers or whatever. I, of some, you know, I don't wanna go crazy because it's just too much. I'm feeling very overwhelmed. There's a lot in my refrigerator, a lot in my freezer. Thanksgiving's coming. You know, it, it, there's, there's a lot going on in my head. So I'm trying to get a little bit, um, you know, I think this is enough onion. We don't need all of it. No, we don't even need that. Um, yeah, I don't want to get myself overwhelmed and crazy, you know. So I'm just trying to, um, but, you know, also, like, Vlogmas is coming December 1st is Vlogmas. And so I want to do, I want to do a lot of videos and Vlogmas, like I always do every year. And I just don't want to get myself crazy overwhelmed. So I'm trying to not to do that. But, you know, it happens. All right, so um, the pot is heating up. I'm going to put the garlic and the onions in first. Well, first I'll, yeah, I think I'll do them. I'll put the, the onions in. I'm not going to put the garlic in yet. I'm going to wait for the garlic. When I put the sausage in, I'll put the garlic in. So, with the marinara and with my gravies that I make, my Italian gravy, I always start with the base of onions and garlic. If you don't like uh, like, if you don't like that, you can put a little, if it's too strong for you, put, maybe just dice them very, very tiny, 
and then you could put like garlic and onion powder in instead of, you know, like the big pieces where you get minced garlic because I feel like when you make this, you can't like, you can't not put these things in it, in my opinion, because this is what, this is what the base of the flavor is. So like I said, if you don't like onion, make the onion really small or just mince it, you know what I mean? Just put a little bit and then you can use the, um, once you get the, uh, the sauce into the pit, into the pot, you can put other things uh, like garlic powder and a little garlic powder a little, and a little onion powder. Um, oh, that reminds me, I ran out of onion powder and I don't know if I have any more up here. I never run out of onion powder. I went, went through it and I, ha I didn't get it when I went to the store. I have been picking up because I had a big one and now I'm out. So guess what guys, we might not have any onion powder. I thought I had an extra one in here, I usually do, but I think I did take it out of here. So I don't have, I don't think I have it. Oh. What is this up here? Uh, ginger. So I have that Italian bread in the refrigerator that I made the other day. I'm going to have to um, put it in the freezer because I only had a little bit and hadn't eaten it since then, and I don't want it to go bad. I don't want that bread to go bad. I was looking for chives earlier, and there they are. I needed them this morning. I wanted them for my eggs, and I couldn't find them. Nope, it doesn't look like I have any onion powder. No? Nope. So I guess tomorrow I'll have to run, I'll just see you. I'll have to run to the store tomorrow. All right. Let's put the, the, the sausage in. Now, I have some leftover sausage from a package that I had. Um, in there, so I'm just going to put this in here, and then I'll use, um, not, I don't think I'm going to use the whole, come on people, seriously, I don't think I'm going to use the whole package that I have here, because, honestly, I don't need, I don't think I need to, and honestly, I think I want to use it for something else. You know, guys, when you have depression and anxiety, it really debilitates your life at times, you know? It just really does. Like, I, I, I lay in bed at night and I think about, oh, God, tomorrow I want to do this. Tomorrow I want to do that. And then, uh, and I pray to God every day, ask him to please give me the strength and the motivation and the headspace to do it. Because it's a struggle. It's really, really a struggle. You know, and this morning I, I, oh, sorry, I woke up and I thought, oh, you know, last night I thought, oh, tomorrow's going to be a good day. And it is a good day. I'm not saying it's not a good day. I woke up, I'm, I'm healthy, you know, as far as I know. Um, even though my body aches and everything else, but that's a whole different story. Um, I just was, was like ready to start my day and I can feel, it's almost as if you wake up and there's literally a cloud over your head. A cloud that's like getting ready to shower. And you just don't know like how to how to get the, how to get the cloud to go away. So you go about your day, you do the things that you you know you'd want to do, you try to do the things, but um, it's just like a big a big weight hanging on your shoulders. And it's really not a good feeling. It really isn't. If you suffer from depression or anxiety, um, where is my thing? Oh, here, you'll, you'll know what I mean. It's just a very debilitating feeling, and it's not fun. So. so, um...
really takes a lot of the joy and the, um, the motivation out of your out of your soul. It really does, and it, it, it debilitates you. And, um, and if you're like the point that I'm at today is that I'm able to fight through it. But there are times when I'm like, you know what? I am not even doing anything. I'm going to give into it. I'm just going to give into it. I'm going to lay on the couch and feel okay about myself. You know, I've learned to do that because you can't, you can't, um, if you can't do it, you can't do it. And then, you, and then, what happens is you feel worse about yourself because you can't do it. But what I've learned through therapy in so, for so many years is that that just makes it worse. Like. I remember my um, my diabetic doctor, my endocrinologist always told me, and this is completely off track, but it's, it's off track, but it's also in track, because this is what I'm trying to give you an analogy of what he said to me. I would go in there and he'd be like, oh, Linda, you, you know, your um, A1C is really high, we got to try to get it under control and, and everything, and then I would like down, I would feel down about myself, I'd say, oh my God, what, you know. And he would say to me, before I left the office, every single time he would say, listen, I don't want you feeling bad about yourself. Just keep trying. That's all you can do. Just keep trying. Like, don't go home. Because then what happens is if you feel bad about yourself, it just becomes worse. And, you, and, it, and it catapults. And, you, and then you, 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 you do worse than what you're already doing because you're feeling bad about yourself for doing bad, you know? So I remember him telling me that. So um, and I use the same analogy with my depression because... I feel like I used to fight it, and I used to get, I, I used to have so much anxiety because I'd be like, why am I like this? Why, how can I, I need to do something, and I would cry, and just, I would feel so crappy about myself. And I finally came to the conclusion, and my therapist was like, just Linda, just go with it. If you don't feel like doing something, you don't have to do it. Get up tomorrow, and tomorrow's a new day, you know? And, 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 and I really just started to live that practice, and... So when I have to stay on the couch, and I don't mean physical, like I don't mean literally on the couch. I, I mean I do and, and, and I don't. What I mean is if I if I feel like I can't do anything, I can't cook dinner, I can't function in a, in a in a in a, a big way, then I just go with it. And there are, there are some days once once a week, twice or two two or three times a month, you know, that I get burned out, I get tired, and I just get mentally tired, and I don't want to do it. That happens to me, and it's normal, and it's okay. It's okay. So if that happens to you guys, just go with it. Don't fight it. If it lasts more than a day or two, 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 three days, then you know you you maybe have to talk to somebody, reach out to somebody. But if it's just you know once in a while thing, you know you should be okay. But you always keep an eye on it. All right. I just added the garlic in here, so I didn't want it to burn. I don't think that's really even enough garlic, so I think I'm going to cut up a little bit more garlic. i got to get more of these. We use a lot of garlic in this house. And, you know, when I feel this way, like I, I put a, I put an, I'll put a number on it. Like my um, the dread. It, that's what it is. Depression is like a dread feeling. You dread everything. You dread getting up in the morning. You dread taking a shower. You dread going out the out the door. You dread you know cooking. You dread everything. And I would say on a scale from one to ten, my dread right now and today was probably about a six maybe. Anything over an eight, most of the time I, 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 you know, I don't give, I give into it. I don't, you know, I give into the feeling and I just, you know, go with it. I don't, I don't push myself. But if I feel good enough, I do. And today's, I would say, I was probably at a six, close to a seven. So um, I got myself in here while I was on a six or a seven, not an eight or a ten or nine. <laughs> And it helps once I start because I really, this, 
you know, I really enjoy doing this and it makes me come alive. It makes me love it. I, I love to talk to you guys and all of that. All right, so there's really, um, there's no really grease in here. This sausage didn't give off a lot of grease, so. So I gotta open up the cans. I think I'm just gonna do crunched tomatoes. I was gonna do one, um, one can as a whole, but then I gotta, then I gotta mince it, and I don't feel like doing that. So uh, I think I'm just gonna um, do three cans of crushed. So I had some sauce in the fridge, but I think I used it, and then I threw the rest out because it wasn't good anymore. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not making an enormous amount. So let me season the, salt up, the, the, the sausage up a little bit. We'll put some salt. They didn't even, both, is Darren still down here? Is Darren still down here? They don't realize that that's their laundry there. <laughs> um, pepper, and we'll do um, onion powder. I'm gonna look, glance in here quickly and see. Well, we'll do garlic powder, I mean, garlic powder. Well, I'm gonna glance in here and see if I have, any onion. I do have a drop, so we'll put a drop of the onion powder in here, and that's all there is. I'm gonna look in here quickly and see if I have any onion. Onion. Kinders. What is this? Oh, garlic. Oh, Himalayan salt. Oh, Cajun. Oh, paprika. Oh, no, that's chili powder. No, don't have any. That's all right. So we'll get it. All right. We'll do Italian seasoning. And then we'll put the... one can and I'll open up the other can and I'm going to see I'm probably going to do three cans and so all I got to do is boil the um after I get the after I get the sauce going I'll boil the um I'll get the water going for the shells and uh yeah I know already that I'm not going to be able to fit. I'm not going to be able to fit a whole new can in here, probably half of the can. And I usually fill these up with water, but um, I'll wait until the end because um, I want to get another can in here because. I'm going to be using it for stuffed shells, which, you know, you use a little bit more sauce because you put sauce on the bottom, sauce on top, you know. So I'm going to definitely need another can of sauce. So let me go in the back and get another can of fresh tomatoes. All right, guys, so I'm letting this, um, I'm letting this, simmer a little bit and then I'm going to put it on the back burner in like five minutes. Okay. I put um, half of a can and then I put some water in the other can to get some of that water out of, out of that sauce out of there. But I'm just going to let this cook and I might add the sauce to the end. We'll see if I need to. If not, we'll save it and we'll use it when I make something else with this. 
Let me get my apron on so I don't I don't get my shirt all um dirty. I want to show you too. I'm wearing my cute sweatpants that I got. My camouflage kind of sweatpants. Aren't they so cute with the little fuzzies? With the little fuzzies on the bottom. Yeah, so I'm going to put my apron on so I don't get everything all dirty, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I decided that since I have bread in there, I'm going to cut this down the middle. I'm going to make garlic bread with it. They'll eat it. I, I think they'll, it'll, be, it'll be delicious. And so, yeah, why not do that? And I have a whole nother half a loaf in there, too, so I gotta figure out what to do with that. Either I'm gonna freeze it, or I mean, I'm gonna freeze it because I don't want it to go to waste. Thank you for clarifying those. Nice. Yeah. This bread, I, I like it like raw, like this, you know, not raw, but you know, um, I like it untoasted, but toasted, it is amazing. It is so, so good. So, um, I'm wondering if I should just make, I think I'll just make both. That's so good toasted too, so. All right, so this is all seasoned. I'm just letting it cook. I'm gonna hire it just a little bit more. Um, in about 15, 20 minutes, I will put the, um, oh no, I think I'm gonna put the pot up for water because I want the shells to cool before I, um, before I fill them and stuff. And I gotta make the filling. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go change my shirt because I'm hot. Be right back. All right, guys. So what I did was I softened one stick of butter. Okay. This is how I make my garlic bread. I think one should be enough. If not, I can always add a little bit more butter. I so I softened it in the microwave. I'm going to put a little bit of minced garlic. I, um, when I make my garlic bread 98% of the time, I just use garlic powder, but I feel like I'm using a little fresh garlic tonight, so I'm just going to use a little bit of the minced. Um, I'll show you what else I'm going to do. No, you soak it in it. Soak what? Soak the bread in it. Yeah, all right. All right. It'll become too soggy. You're fine. <laughs> um, so this is very watery because I had added another jar, half a jar to this. Like I said, I don't use an enormous amount because it was mainly because the kids growing up didn't really like the, you know, the taste of the full garlic, but the adults like it now, so. Mmm. The smell is amazing. Guys, you know what I'm doing? I'm bad. So I bought more grated, um, more black grated cheese yesterday when I was at ShopRite. I literally have been taking it out and eating, eating pieces of it. It is like, it is so good that I eat it like it's cheddar cheese. What it's, is it? um, this is a cello copper kettle cheese. It's parm, Parmesan cheese, but it's so freaking good. Like, I don't even care to put it on my food. I'm going to put it in there. Ones? You want a piece? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put it on, um, I'm going to put it into the, into the bread too. It is so good. I don't really care how much it is. I really don't. Mm. Hey. But the purpose of to use it is to use it for, bit. isn't it good? A bit. Use it for grated cheese and I don't do that a lot. Um. So we're gonna we'll shred some of this in there. Mm. It's 
will make it nice and cheesy, cheesy garlic bread. Um, my son-in-law was down here, and <laughs> he wanted to taste some. Alright, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil just to drop. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder. Okay. A little bit of salt. Just a drop because we have that grated cheese and that pepper. Chinese mm. seasoning. I'm, um, I just put the water up for the shells. Got to save some of these shells for Jen. She loves stuffed shells. Maybe next Sunday she'll come over. She doesn't really like to come on Saturdays and Sundays anymore, so it's hard to get her over here, but I, I think maybe, I mean, she'll be here for Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> I don't really smell the garlic. garlicky it's garlic powder it's garlic bread right guys should I taste it hmm I think it needs more garlic. I really do. I'm not even kidding. One for that, the butter. One slice for mama. Yummy. All right. Let me get the tray. A little bit of olive oil on the bottom. Let's put some olive oil. I was looking in my recipe book, in my Italian book, and in my um, in my diabetic book for for specialty breads. I want to make some cheddar bread and bread and some maybe some olive bread. There are a few breads that I want to try, so I've been I've been researching. I like the ends crispy. Mm. 
this bread, like I put it in the refrigerator. Um, it says it could go in the refrigerator because I think it could stay there for like two weeks. And it, um, it needs to go there because it gets a little um, soft if you don't. All right, look at this. I have a piece here that I just have to taste with that butter. Oh my God. That's amazing. Oops. Mm -hmm. Oopsie daisy. I just happened. This is why I'm not hungry, guys. When I go to sit down, because I'm. This is what I do. I mean, I, I, it's. I, I'm honest. This is what I do. I pick. My aunt Louise. We have. We had an older, elderly aunt who lived till she was about a hundred. I think she lived like a month or two shy of her hundredth birthday. I'm not even kidding. She was awesome. Aunt Louise. We love you. Miss you. Um, she used to be the one. And I think I'm like her. Because we would be all cooking and stuff. Or she'd be cooking or whatever. And we're like, Aunt Lou, what are you doing over there? What are you doing? Were you hungry, Aunt Lou? No, I'm not hungry. I'll just pick. That's what she said. What are you hungry? No, no, I'm not hungry. I just like to pick. I'll just pick. Okay, Aunt Louise, we love you. I'm sure you're up in heaven doing a lot of picking. Good for you. I hope you are. Have a pick for me, will you? I do a lot of picking down here. <laughs> I'm just like you. Your great niece is just like you. Yes, she is. All right, that's it. No more. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit of paprika on this. You know what? Do something. This is our little miss spot right here. Let's get the paprika out. Okay. Oh, paprika. Oh, paprika. Where are you? Cinnamon. Paprika. Ha, hola mola. Holy moly. Nice, guys. Look at that. Mm -mm. I'm going to put it in the toast oven. I'm not going to put it on yet because I don't want it to go. I don't want, I don't want it to start cooking yet. I want it to come out like a couple minutes before we eat. So this way... It's nice and toasty. All right, the water's boiling over here, say. Let me get the, um, let me get the, the shell. All right, guys, I'm putting in the, the shell. Alexa, set the timer for eight minutes. Alexa, set the timer for eight minutes. Eight minutes, starting now. Why are you yelling at Alexa? Ridiculous. All right, guys, let me get the, um, the bowl and start mixing up the mixture. All right, guys, so I have 
um, 32 ounces of regret. Shells are cooking. I'm not gonna cook them fully because you know they're gonna cook in the oven for like 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes. So um, I want them mostly cooked. The sauce is coming along. Cucaracha, why sing that song? I don't know. All of a sudden, I never, ever, ever know how much we're good mixture to make. I try to guess. A lot of times, I have leftover. A lot of times, I have just enough. I don't know. I will. What the hell is that? Um, a lot of, um, there's a lot of things I can make, you know, with leftover, but, so, it's not, an, not the end of the world. We're going to mix this up. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some pepper, some salt, a drop. I'm going to use some of this parm and then some of the other parm. Very hot tonight in the kitchen. All right, so the salt and pepper, grated cheese, garlic powder. If there's anything left in this onion powder, that's a gone. When the moon hits your eye like a big, what's it doing? Pizza pie, that's I'm all ready. Do, 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 do. Some Italian seasoning. It's Italian. Parsley. I don't have any fresh parsley. I didn't get it. So dried parsley it is. I'm gonna put some of my fresh um, squeezed ba my basil in here. I'm gonna put an egg. Let me get an egg. Abundance amount of cheese. I always do. This is one of the fresh eggs. My husband brought home the eggs yesterday. Two dozen eggs, three dollars each. Amazing. Yeah, I think one should be good. Uh, let's check the um. We gotta check the shells because if they're just about done, they need to come out. Can't overcook them because then they're gonna cook in the pan. And I don't want them to be mush. 
but I also need them to be just about done, you know. Another minute, and then we'll strain them. Let me get the strainer. Give me one second. I'll get the strainer. All right, guys. So I'm really, really, really upset right now. I'm really, really upset. And it, it's nobody's fault but my own. But So I, I cut, you know, cut the video saying I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, Get the, I had to get the shells out of the water, you know, and did that. Got them all ready. Um, I made my, um, my make sure you guys saw that. And um, I, I made all my stuff to all my shells. I was having a singing party. I was singing. I was telling you some stories and all that. And I moved, I moved the camera over to put you by the stove so you guys can see me put sauce on top of the, the, the shells. And so there was some sort of a little thing that said negative file or something so i'm like oh my god please please don't tell me that this didn't please don't tell me that this didn't record i just checked and there's no video of me stuffing the shells it ends at the other part that i ended it at with me boiling the shells and all that so i'm really really just really upset but you guys have seen this before if you're new here you really haven't probably but anyway so what i did was i i stuffed the shells i took a spoon Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Took the shell, took the good out of here, and just filled filled the shell like that and stuffed them and put them in. I got two trays of it. I got a big tray and um, and a small tray. Here's the big tray, okay? Um, so I'm going to put gravy on them, so, uh, marinara, and put them in the oven. And we'll put mozzarella over it on top. That's really frustrating. And I always, you know, I check to make sure that it's running. And the times that I don't check, it always happens. And not only that, it happens on the most important part. Like, I would have, I would have rather you not see me make the marinara or something like that. But I wanted you to see me stuff the shells, you know. I mean, it's very self-explanatory. It's not even that. It's the point that I wanted to, to you to see it. And I was singing. And I was telling stories about Julie and, and Jenny and how I used to sing out here on my own. And, and I saw, I sang, um, I sing The Body Electric. And there's a movie that that's from. And I asked you guys if you guys uh, would, could guess the movies, the, the movie that the, the song, two of the songs come from. And all of that, and just a little chatting and all that. So, very disappointed, and I'm very sorry, but I can't do anything about it now. <sighs> that gives me great anxiety. Great anxiety. All right, so let's do that. We'll put some mozzarella on top. I don't remember if I put it on top after the gravy. I don't even remember. It doesn't even matter, really. Honestly. I think I do it before the sauce, but... I just, I, I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. I thought maybe it just stopped in the middle, but when it, when I went to look to see if it was, if it was um, up there, it was on there, and, and the video's not there. So, I'll see you another time. <laughs> That's it. This is going in the oven. This is going to take about 10, 12 minutes. I'm going to put the, the, the garlic bread on and uh, then I'll come back and show you guys. Well, you know what, guys? I think I just should have stayed in bed this morning because I went in and I checked my garlic bread and then I wanted it to get a little bit more crispy, so I put it on a higher <laughs> temperature and forgot about it, I guess, and didn't, you know, walked away. And I, um, I went and checked it, and it's a little crispy. It's not burnt, but it's a little crispy. And that's because there's cheese in it and all that. So the cheese probably just got a little brown. I think it's still going to be delicious. I don't know what to say. All I know is that 
Today should have been a day of laying on the couch because it doesn't seem to be a great day. But I should also be, be grateful and um, thankful that I have breath in my air, in my, <laughs> that I have air in my lungs. Let me go get my Bible, my Bible so I can pick a scripture out of there, maybe find one that's appropriate for right now. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I just took this out, and I think this is kind of appropriate, my Bible. This is my woman's Bible. It's amazing. I love it. It is amazing. When life is sweet, say thank you and celebrate. And when life is bitter, say thank you and grow. And that's the thing. You see, even when life is not going great, you still go to God, and you don't say, Oh, God, why did you do this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why did this happen? You don't say that. You say... Thank you, God, for being here for me and holding me up when I do have disappointments and issues that I feel like I can't get through. I can get through anything with God's arms around me. And this is what I'm saying today. Like this, what was important, okay, so I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't able to show you my part of my video that I worked hard on or whatever. Okay, so what is it, what is it, what is it going to hurt? It's not going to hurt anybody. It's not whatever. So just give it to God and don't worry about it. Then I burnt my garlic bread. And so what? Everybody else have a little crispy garlic bread. It's not the end of the world. So when life is sweet, say thank you and celebrate. And when life is bitter, say thank you and grow. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that I have a breath inside of me that I can move on from disappointment. That's it. Love you, God. All right, I'm going to get this stuffed shells out, let them sit five minutes, cut the bread, and then we're going to eat. I'm going to show you how I cut the bread, when I cut the bread. All right, people, there it is. That's done. I'm just going to cut up the bread, and then we're going to um, eat. Now, I put the other, um, the other. Um, I wasn't going to cook that one at this time, but I ended up putting the sauce on top of it and putting it in there. This way it's all cooked, and if we don't eat it, I can just freeze it like that and then just heat it up in the microwave or whatever in the oven when we want to have it one day if it's you know because it's, it's probably going to be extra um all right so let's cut the bread you ready for the crisp you ready for the crisp i'm telling it, it looks delicious though and look the bottom didn't even burn mm. it's gonna be so good i hope You want to, Julie wants to know if you want to watch Survivor at dinner. Oh, yes, it's up to you. All right, so say yes because I'm, I can't answer her right now. I like it because the bread kind of firmed up, but yet it's still soft. Mostly, anyway. Let's taste it, guys. Let's taste it. Let's shut this freaking gravy off. We don't need it on anymore. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Seriously, it's amazing, and it's not burnt at all. Linda, Linda. It's, it's not even burnt. It's perfect is what it is. Oh, my God. Look at that. Mmm. I do have issues, but... Mm. Praise the Lord, that bread is amazing. All right, guys, I'm going to get my plate. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so here it is. Everybody says the garlic bread is amazing, which I told you it is really is delicious. And they said the stuffed shells are amazing, too, so there you go. All right, guys, so sorry about that disappointment with the other part of the video, but it is what it is. Uh, so you take what you get, right? <laughs> That's life, I guess. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribers button because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow and I really appreciate all of you. Don't forget to hit the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video, like and share. 
comment down below and thank you so much for coming into my kitchen and my home with me and creating love you guys i'll see you on the next video bye